Welcome, this is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for November 19th through the 25th, 2012. And so um, I was shown a vision, um, which I thought was so beautiful. The angels were showing me um, that they were carrying us um, and supporting us. Like um, They were showing me um, an angel holding uh, a baby, a newborn baby in his arm, you know, that's wrapped in, um, in warm blankets and things. So there was that sense of comfort, peace, support, nurturing, and love, you know, that they're going to be here with us, um, to help guide us through this new, this new, this new stage of our lives, um, as we are now, um, stepping into, um, higher consciousness. <clears throat> as we talked about um, a couple of weeks ago or last week. And um, so that, you know, all of our needs are being taken care of, of and just as though you would take care of an, an infant, a uh, newborn into the world and guide them and show them the way and, you know, let them know that you're there for them. And so the message that they, they, they gave me in writing um, was um, to say, we are supporting you with love and peace as you are starting to feel an energy of connectedness with the divine. Your connection is pure and whole. Trust the insights you are receiving as we gently are guiding you in the direction of your soul's truth. So um, it's a beautiful message um, for this week. And so let's take a look at the cards and, and see what messages that the uh, angels have for us this week. So the first card is the arc from the Archangel deck, uh, Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. And it's the card, the Archangel that we can work with this week. And the card says, it's the Archangel Raguel, sorry, Raguel. And the card is titled Relationship Harmony. And I love this card because of the rainbows um, around it. And it always gives me a sense of peace. And the first thing I was thinking about, um, it says that we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. So I know we're coming up on the holidays. Um, and um, for those of you in the different parts of the world where this may not be a holiday week coming up for you, um, you know, this can also re mean um, that if you're you know, there's a partnership, a romantic relationship, or a business partnership, um, or anything that you're doing. Um, it's showing that the, whatever it is that you're relating with, or to, or who, or what it is, that it's going to work out beautifully this week. And there's, there's going to be a sense of harmony, so that you're going to feel like um, things are coming together for you. Um, this also is an indication, as Archangel Raguel is saying to me now, about the fact that um, that you're going to begin to um, integrate more deeply um, with your higher self and um, and in, in the universe as well. So um, so that the thing is is that in this week, what we're really getting a sense of, and they're showing me too that. Um, there's going to be a sense of uh, the show me the, the throat chakra so that this week is going to really be about you um, speaking your truth and um, really grounding in your in your uh, the power of your soul and really um, opening up somehow. So um, it, it, that gives me a sense of that this week is all going to be all about how you communicate. Um, and so you, when you come from your higher self, um, and you know, because the part of the shifting work is that we're no longer, um, bound by our ego if we so choose. Um, it doesn't mean that the ego is not going to be around and that we don't have, a we don't have access to it. But now this time is all about what do you choose? Um, and the universe now and this openness of being in this higher dimension gives you more choice. So there's, there's more, they're showing me a paintbrush right now. So what they're saying is that the, this gives you more creative license is what they're saying. That's very beautiful. Um, and so we really need to take advantage 
of this time where we have creative license on our lives. Um, and so, you know, you can either choose to connect in with your higher self and get that information for yourself and and respond from there, or you can continue to do what we've done in the old um, paradigm, which is respond from our fears. Let's take a look at the first card, which is the magical uh, fairies deck. And this is the position for beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, and our focus for the week. And look at this. It says, you've got the power. So um, the card says, use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it. So they were showing me just a few moments ago, um, um, the cancer sign, actually, or the, the crab coming out of the water. So, you know, um, and we traditionally see this in the moon card of the tarot deck where the uh, crab is coming out. <clears throat> and so um, that means that, you know, th that the shadow side or that aspect of us, of the ego, can, can um, you know, sometimes things that are vulnerabilities come up. And what they're saying is, again, that you, you have a choice. You don't have to be compelled by your shadow side now. Because what's been established underneath you is a groundedness and a foundation for your power of love. And so using the power of love is, is what we are really being asked to do now, to assert this um, free will of the higher self into our lives, creating harmony in all relationships. So um, let's take a look for at the card for the um, middle of the week, and which is also our um, action, what action we should take. And it says, connect with nature. And I'm really drawn here um, right away to the sense, I almost feel like I'm drawn into this card and I'm with this fairy as she's, you know, swinging. I get a sense that she's just swinging, just hanging out and, you know, just going with the flow. And I'm also drawn to the flower, which is a symbol of opening up and blossoming and the transformations that are taking place. So as, as, so what's happening here is that a lot of, we're opening as we're going through these changes. We're, we're really, um, um, evolving and developing. And part of, of this connectedness is that we stay in our power, that we just go with the flow. Um, we stay connected to the soul and connecting with nature helps you um, to get clear minded and spiritually. Um, when you spend time in nature, it clears your head. Um, it helps you to be realigned with what is your truth. And so you can see how beautifully all of this is going together. The card says you're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. OK, so really what they were showing me is that, you know, when we co connect in with our they show me the the lion, the male lion with the mane, um, like the king of the jungle. And, and, and what they're showing me here is that this is representing strength again, like from the um, um, tarot deck, um, the card for strength, uh, your inner strength is your balance and integration of your higher self's perspective in your life. And so when you come from this and you, and you integrate this with the, the ego, then the ego becomes more, it comes uh, back into balance and works in the way that was supposed to in terms of, you know, having duality and contrast in order that free will divine being could have choice. So really, um, if, you know, whatever's going on this week, remember to take time to get out in nature, to reconnect to um, with your higher self. Um, they keep showing me um, a book, and I, I didn't re realize it. <laughs> I kept seeing it and just paying attention to it. And so, um, you know, the thing is, is that um, it's kind of like also, I guess that maybe they want you to uh, they're showing me they want you to kind of uh, review um, by journaling, um, you know, kind of look at yourself. They're showing me an image or reflection in the book. So the journal um, will help you to reflect and they would like for you to kind of write and reflect um, when you're outside so that you can get clarity and so that they can um, give you messages of 
that will help you to find clarity and the peace that you're looking for. Um, that's a very beautiful image that's showing me right now. All right, let's take a look at, um, so that's all for the, with the action in the middle of the week. Let's take a look at um, the card for the weekend, which is also the gift of what lessons we're, we're learning and need to need to put in pla and put in place. And the card says assertiveness. So here we go back to that throat chakra again, um, coming from that place of power. It says, stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. And again, um, knowing that, you know, what you do is up to you. So, you know, the, the power of choice is your divine right. And so that you don't have to... Um, it's not like you have to say things, but it's just when you when you keep like uh, coming from your 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 soul's perspective, your soul's truth. Um, you know, you could be in the middle of a situation, and um, when your soul's truth is spoken so clearly and articulated, when you articulate yourself from that perspective, um, you are people respect you, and they will not try to. Um, shift you you'll be you'll see that actually you'll um be sharing with them and people will be coming to you and kind of asking you um for advice and you know you'll actually be creating shifts for them so really um you know stand up in your truth and don't be afraid to communicate this week um as you are guided to or as um situations arise that ask for you to dig deep into your soul and, and share the wealth of your soul with others. And let's take a look at the um, final card for the week. And this, this is like sort of basically the, the outcome of the week. And, and so what the fairies are saying here is that this is going to be a week um, where you'll really be able to like just kick up your heels. Again, look, we have the beautiful rainbow um, and so it really lets us know that, you know, uh, whatever we've been going through for the last couple of weeks, um, that the energy is getting better. Um, the hardships that we've been going through as we were in that process of change, um, and shifting. And so, you know, it's, things are going to start to get a lot better and you can see we have rainbows and this fairy has a rainbow and rainbows always represent to me when I, I literally sometimes see them around people when they're speaking. And I know that that person, what they're saying is honest and pure and it's coming from um, their source of truth. And so it's always a great sign. And so, um, you know, this week you can be assured that um, your relationships uh, of all kinds will be have a sense of harmony and uh, purity to them. As, and as long as we make the decision to come from our higher self now, not our ego. And so I want to thank everyone for um, joining us this week. And I want to thank everybody for all the new subscribers who've been joining us. Um, also, um, you know, for people who um, joined us on, on my Facebook page, um, hello to you as well. And um, we appreciate you being with us. Please feel free to leave, leave comments um, um, on Twitter or Facebook or the YouTube page. Um, and um, and share what what you've been experiencing um, over the week. And if you have general questions for me, please you can um, private message me on um, Facebook or um, YouTube. And um, could please continue to subscribe and share um, the messages of of our of your angels with others and the work that we're doing here at the. Um, angel school. I'm also um, giving um, readings, um, still giving readings, and we'll be giving readings um, for a while for the holidays um, for uh, $50 for the hour um, if it's your first time and $100 if it's your second time. Um, so, um, and then there are going to be some other kinds of readings too that will shorter, um, maybe one by email that may be a little cheaper. So, so, you know, be, um, checking us out on, 
And um, if you have questions, it may not be updated yet, but just ask me about it. Send me a message and I'll get back to you. Okay. And so I send you so much love and uh, uh, angel blessings and to everyone in America and the U.S. Um, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, if there are any other holidays going around the world or any special things that you're working on, I send you God's blessings and I surround you with wings of love. Bye bye.